Hi, welcome back. So this will be the last part of this ACL video series where you see how you can implement a user roles functionality in Laravel. We got our middleware, we got our data in the database. The last step is to wire this all up to protect the routes and to do some additional finishing touches. The first thing I want to do is a minor thing, but it's still important for this overall app to work correctly. That is, if you're not logged in, you can sign in or sign up, excuse me, sign up as a new user. In this case, I want to assign a default role to each user. Now you could of course also say, I don't assign a default role, but in my middleware, I say that no role role is always declined access to certain routes, not to others, but I just want to show you how to set up a default role. So in my off controller, where I got my sign up function, I got this placeholder here for me. Here, I will just say basically the same as in my user table seeder, that I want to attach a role to each user. And the role I want to attach is role where the name is user. So this, this default user role, and here are the first element we find in the database. So that's really all so that every user that signs up is by default a normal user. And I can show this functionality by, well, trying to sign up here as, let's say, Chris, Christian, Chris at example.com, password Chris, click sign up. And yo, that's why you should always be careful. We need the role model import here. So again, sign up it. And now in the admin panel, you can see that we got this new user with this user role already assigned to it. So that's one thing. The other thing is in my app controller, which controls basically all the functionalities of the remaining app, you see I already get this app role import here at the top. I didn't, I forgot to delete it prior to this recording session. So you may add it now because we're needing it down here where I will add some functionality. This method here is called when we click this assign roles button and we want to change the roles for a certain user as an admin. Currently, this won't do anything instead of just, will just redirect us and not change anything. So what I will do here is I will first retrieve the user um, of this row where we want to change the roles. I will retrieve it by the email, which is set up to be unique. Request email first user where this email matches because there is only one as it is unique. And then I will access the roles of this, of this user and detach them all because I will reassign them. And yes, I could do a check where I have a look at which roles actually changed and only changed the, the, these roles, but that would be a bit more complicated and it's not really the core of this video. So what I will do here is just detach them all and then check if, well, my request has this role user um, field here checked. This is the name of this first checkbox for the user role and the other checkbox names are role offer and role admin. So we'll see if this is checked and if this is checked, then we know it, the user should have this role and therefore I can then say user roles, of course here attach and then role where name is equal to user because this is well the user role and again here the first role we can find with this username. And now I'm going to copy this three times. And again, this is not very dynamic. You could, of course, come up with a better way. And in your project, you might need to do this, but this is not really a core thing to this role setup. That's a general thing. And I just want to keep this as simple as possible here. So here, offer and admin. And with all this set up, we can now actually change the user roles. So if I now click on offer here and I click assign roles, we're also redirected, but this time 
this role stays. Now I'm going to reset this and at the moment this does not have any result. We can change this but we could access any route anyway because we haven't set up our middleware in the routes file. And this is the very last thing we're doing here and of course the important one to use all the building blocks we now set up on the last videos to actually protect certain routes based on roles. I will start with the author route, route here and this route will get a middleware. This is a default Laravel key here which assigns middleware and of course you could design, uh, define any default middleware Laravel ships with but in this case we're using our own roles middleware here. But currently this roles middleware would not do anything because well it is attached but we have defined which roles should be applied to this specific route here. So we'll add a new well action and this is where this get action thing comes in I talked about earlier. I'm defining this roles key and this is not a default Laravel key. This is my own key and I'm retrieving it here by retrieving the whole action array and then just accessing the roles key if it is set. This allows me to define an array of roles which should be able to access this route. In this case I want admins and offers to be able to access it. Now I'll just copy this to the next route, this generate article link. This is Oh, it already works and I have the wrong permissions. I just wanted to show it, but of course it's not possible anymore. Um, this is this generate article link. And here I only want offers to be able to generate articles. So admins are able to access the offer section, but they may not click this link. So this is this. The next protected route is this admin route. But here of course only admins should have access and the same goes for the assign roles button which if another user would somehow try to do this via the command line or any other way we would also catch him here and not allow this action by anyone else but an admin. This is all the protection I want to set up and now let's see. I'm the normal user and I can actually show this by now I'm not logged in and offer the route doesn't work, admin route doesn't work. If I sign in as Chris, the user we created, and I um, probably get the sign in credentials wrong. Okay, so then let's use the other one here, visitor. Visitor, this is the one we seeded. So now I'm logged in. I'm on the main page and I may access this, but I can't access the offer page and I can't access the admin page. Let's log out and let's try signing in as an offer. Now I may access the main page, which is accessible by everyone. I may not access the admin page, but I may access the offer page. I also may click this generate article link, which says article generated. Now again, I'm logging out and I will log in as the admin. Here I may access the main page. I may access the offer page because we set up that both offers and admins may access the offer section. But if I click this generate article link we see insufficient permissions because this is not allowed. However I may access the admin page and I may change a role. Let's say Victor should no longer be a normal user but an offer. I may assign this, log out and now let's log in again with Victor. And remember before the change we were not able to access this offer route. Well now we are because now we are an offer. So this is how you set up routing, how you use it, how you create your middleware and I hope this is helpful and helps you with all your projects. See you in all the other videos. Have a nice day. Bye.